I researched uh, what was the number way, one way of people making money, and it was real estate, right? That's how the top 1% made the vast majority of their money. And I looked up who owned the Chicago Bulls, this guy named Jerry Reinsdorf, mm-hmm. and I saw that, I read his biography, I was like, this guy made his money in real estate. So I, for, you know, I always had in the back of my mind, real estate, real estate, real estate. And so uh, I prayed, you know, when I saw that negative number in my bank account, went to that financial predicament, you know, I, I surrendered it all. I said, all right, God, I'm gonna start following you. Six months later, I met a guy who was willing to take me under his wing and I would work for free. You know, part of the reason why people aren't successful is they're too cool, right? They're too cool. They're like, oh, I don't wanna be in that, you know, I don't wanna go to that meeting or I don't wanna, you know, they're too cool for school, yeah. you know? And so uh, I, I work for free. You know, I, I paid wow. thousands of dollars at the time. My brother and I actually called our credit card company to beg them to increase the line so we could pay for education to learn how to do this thing. Yeah. So, you know, long before that, I started, you know, following and following and, and I started reading and I'd get up, you know, I, I would get up at six, seven in the morning, wouldn't go to sleep till one or two at night. The entire time I would learn about real estate. I would learn about investing, yeah. macroeconomics, hundred percent. You know, why, what is, what is inflation? What is, what is yeah. quantitative easing? What's policy, you know, monetary policy, fiscal policy. Yeah. And I remember being 22 years old and I, I remember being, uh, if not the smartest, one of the smartest guys in every single room I walked in when it came to real estate and investing. But I made zero money. And but I got you knew everything though. But I knew everything though. Okay. And I became very frustrated. And whenever I'm frustrated, I go to I go to, you know, God. You know, because that's just who I go to when I whenever I'm happy, mad, say, right? I think we should treat our heavenly father like our actual father, right? Or the father that we never had, unfortunately. You know, mm-hmm. I have to say that mm-hmm. now in America. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I, I, I got very frustrated. And then God took me to John chapter thirteen. And John chapter 13 is one of my most favorite chapters in the Bible because it shows you who Jesus really was. So word for word, it's a story how Jesus and his disciples are in the Passover feast or walking into this room. And scripture actually says at this moment, Jesus had realized that the father had put everything under his authority and that he was from the father and he was returning to the father. Meaning that Jesus realizes that he's the most powerful being in the universe, right? He's stronger than Superman, Batman, Iron Man, Thanos, (laughs) you name it, right? Um, and what he does next, and scripture says, so, as so, cause and effect, he begins to remove his outer clothing, brings out a basin of water, and he begins to wash the feet of his disciples. Right, which by the way, people don't understand, washing the feet at that time was the, the, the lowest ranking slave, not even servant, slave. That was the job for the lowest ranking slave to do. And for him, it was very awkward for him to do that. Right, they're like, Rabbi, you don't do that. And so what the Spirit spoke to me then was, Daniel, your problem is that you have a very good mind, but whenever you walk out of room, the people's feet are still dirty. Mm. Everybody around you still has dirty feet. That's the problem. And so whenever I get a lesson from God, I ask the Holy Spirit on how I can apply it. Because at the end of the day, like people are like, Daniel, how do I get closer to God? I ask him. The person that knows best on how to get closer to God is God. Right? Uh, that's why he sacrifices some. Right? And by the way, I believe that the truest form of love is sacrifice. If you love your business, if you love your clients, you're going to make the sacrifices. Sure.